Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm hitting up Dragon's Dogma 2. Now, there is a demo available that allows you to create your character early. Now, I've tried looking on my PlayStation 5, where I've pre-ordered this title. The character customization and the demo is not available on PlayStation 5, so you're probably wondering where it is available, people. Well, it's available over on Steam. And uh, that's the only place I could find it. I've hit download here. I'm downloading it right now. I know that it's installing. So hopefully we're going to find it inside of my library. It says that it's actually completed. So I should be able to just hit on up this, I'd imagine. And hit play. And we can jump on in and do our character creation. Now, I can't see from any of this how I link this to my um, PlayStation 5 which I, I don't think is going to happen. I have got a controller right here in my hand. Yes, I've got one. This game needs a controller for best experience. Yeah, I've got one. Sweet. Okay, it's launching, apparently, people inside the view of us. So uh, once that launches, I'd hit up my PC gaming and hopefully we can get this looking a little bit better, maybe. Ah, let's put it on my main screen. This can take me a little while to sort out, people. All right, uh, I'll be right back in a moment. Well, Jams, for whatever reason, I can't resize this window or do freaking anything. So, fun times. Right, well, there we are. It says to play on keyboard, and then down at the bottom... Oh, okay, brilliant, yeah, there we are. Let's just press the button. I suppose there's only a demo. Yeah, we'll have it nice and bright. Okay, cool. I'm hoping that it gives me the opportunity to make it full screen in a moment, people, but this could be what we're limited to. Fun times. I'm thinking weird. It's not opening in full screen. Okay. Well, it is a demo, isn't it, at the end of the day? Start game. Options. Where's graphics? Can I make this full freaking screen? Window. Uh, let's see if we can make it even bigger. Let's go, I don't know, like that. It's not making it much. Oh, here we go. Yes, please. Keep it like that. That'll do. And I'm not too fussed about it being a window, so I can have it on this screen right here. There we go. Done. It's a shame that it's not... Hold on. Can we do that full screen? Hmm. There we go. Oh, full... Borderless window. Ah, borderless window. Come on. Full screen. I, I'm, it's not actually showing it on my main monitor at the moment. There we go. Let's do that then. Okay. Yeah, keep that. Keep that. Exit. Exit there. Yeah, save changes. Brilliant! That's looking okay. Character creation, then. There we go. The character created can be carried over to Dragon's Dogma 2. You can also make edits to your finalised character or customise them from a blank slate using the character creator. Now, I was really hoping that this would be on my PlayStation 5, not on my PC, because I'm not going to be purchasing this game twice. So, I want to just do the main pawn, really. So, let's jump on in. Let's do the main pawn first. And I'm hoping to remake my Red Demon Girl. Yeah, so we go. Yeah, create. Uh, choose a preset. Create new. I'll just create new. Okay, choose race or body type. I, I really don't like all this body type nonsense, you know? Yeah, here we go. I go for. Well, bo body type this one. What it, what it freaking is! Yeah, here we go. Let's go then. I'm going to go for the smallest framed structure that there is. I'm going to be a little demon girl. She's going to be small, but pack a punch. Think Battle Angel Alita, but red and demony. Let's see if we can do the skin colour as red. Now, I'm not overly fussed on which preset I go for. Not overly. That's okay as a base model, I think. I quite like the pointy ears on that one, though. Yeah. We'll go for the pointy ears and the pointy chin. Okay. That looks a bit demony. Uh, if we can just make uh, a red skin, that'd be cool. I did say I didn't want to start with a preset, didn't I? Just, you know, starting off from scratch, pretty much. But yeah, just keep that one. I do. Now, for fudge's sake... I, yeah, just let me s start with this one. Alright, okay, so... Body, torso, height. Yeah, that's going to here. She's as big as... Torso length... Okay, that does that, does it? 
because of slightly longer legs. Right. We go bang in the middle where that little there you go. Ah, there. I do. Right. So muscle style. Well, I'm seeing very subtle changes, if any. Oh my! Oh, there we go. Skin. Let's see if we can do the. I, I want to see whether I can actually get the colour I want. Ah, yes, I can. Hopefully, I can. Ah, it's not as red as I would like. Can I make it super red? That's not really how. I'll... Yeah. I can make it super red. Oh man, you can't make them super red like you could before. I'm going for. Uh... Oh dear. Where's where's like super red? They haven't given us enough colours. It's not as good as the original Dragon's Dogma character creator. Uh, I hate to say it, but this is actually not as good. Not for what I want to do anyway. All right. Okay, I'm going to choose a beast girl this time, people. I'm going to try and make something that looks like it's out of Thundercats. But there's going to be so many. I just wanted to make a pawn that stood out. You can even do eyes separately. So you can have different eyes. In... Well, that'd be freaky, wouldn't it? That's really quite cool. It's a shame we didn't get this many options on the human to change the colour and style of the skin colour to make them more red. Unless it was on another sort of thing. Oh, I quite like the teeth of the uh, claw colour. Yeah, you can't really see them. Alright. Tattoos, I'm not really bothered about any of that, to be honest. No scars, no nothing. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. So... Yeah, how do I then say I'm okay? Finalise that button. Sweet, okay. Vocation. I'll probably start her out as being maybe a fighter, to be fair. Yeah, go with that. Oh, that looks pretty darn freaking awesome. I mean, it's still not the character I wanted to create, but at least I know going into this that I'm not going to be able to make my demon lady that I made before. Inclination. Kind-hearted, cold, simple, straightforward. I'll go for kind-hearted. Uh, how do you how do you preview them? Uh, test voice. The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. The people here are evacuated. The people here are evacuated and safe. The people here are evacuated and safe. The people here are evacuated and safe. There are more who can there are more who can yet be there are more who can yet be saved. Guess we go with that it one. It seems the rain has abated. Seems that the rain has abated. Okay, cool. And I think that's everything. Finalize. Name Um I have no idea. Well, oh, okay, I've got to type it on the keyboard, haven't I? Yeah, I was waiting for a virtual keyboard to come up. Um, uh, uh, cornflake. There we are! I'm going to call it Cornflake. Yeah, because everyone likes Cornflakes. All right, okay. Well, I couldn't work out how to get down on to confirm. What's mockier then? Oh, okay. Um, you can't do a search on this stuff, no? Is there captain? Is there um, cat? I do. Captain. Confirm. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Your character data is currently set to carry over to Dragon's Dogma 2. Obviously, it's not on PlayStation 5. So, there's that. Okay, so I can create a new character as well. Um, I might have a go at trying to make a demon pawn as well i mean that's just that's just one slot you got five slots you can make five of these so knock yourselves out have a bit of fun with it i'll tell you what i'll make another one and then i'll reconvene in what i've managed to do in the human slot 
chums. Well, I kind of cheated. So what I'm doing is I'm putting on tattoos on her left arm, right arm, etc. But then all I'm doing is over on over on here is I'm 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 actually just scaling the tattoo. So if you go to overall scale and just scale it all the way up, you can pretty much cover the whole freaking limb. So I'm slowly painting her red using tattoos. And I have made her eyes look fairly demony. The only thing is, is you, you haven't got the bistrin eyes for humans, which is a real shame. But I'm getting there. I've nearly made a demon. It's just taken me a lot longer than it would in the well, normal. Jumps. I've added in a little bit of sort of dirt coverage to sort of, I don't know, sort of mottle in the tattoos with the skin and all that sort of stuff. And I think it kind of works. It's, it's getting there. I mean, I need to change the hairstyle on her, but I think we're getting there. Well, I've been playing about with the ears and the jaw for a little while now, and I think this is actually starting to look pretty demon-y. You know, that looks, that looks pretty darn freaking cool. I'm liking this. I think her nose needs to be just a tad more pointy. But um, it, it's, it's, it's looking quite nice. Right, okay. So if I can just... No, no. It was okay where it was. I just wanted to make it tip depth. Just a little bit more pointy. Not super pointy. Not Pinocchio size. But just a little bit more prominent than it was. I think that's looking pretty darn cool. I think she's looking very much like the female version of the demon from Legend. I just need to change her hairstyle now. And it's this could make or break the character, really, couldn't it? But I am a lot happier now that I've managed to turn the skin red and started to make my little demon. So anyway, let's go into the old hairstyles. Let's zoom out a bit. Let's have a look what hairstyles we can give. No, that's not demon enough. No, no. So that's quite nice. That kind of works. Mm, that looks okay as well. Mm, yeah. Very Greek inspired, that one. Quite like that. A little bit too jazzy. I think that was suited my Bistron. Don't think it suits her. See, I quite like that, but then it makes her look a little bit too tomboy-esque, doesn't it? I like her to look quite feminine. I think one of the Greek-inspired ones works quite well. Oh, there was a whole load more up here. Whoops. Okay. Let's start off over here, then. Don't like that one. No. No. I mean, the bald one is okay. But at the same time, nah, I, th I think we're going to give her hair. And I quite like this grey look. It goes with the dirt colour on her. Almost looks like she's a demon statue come to life, you know? I quite like some of the ones that we started on. This is getting more like it. That's quite cool. I think that suits her, but no. I don't really like cornrows. So that's, that's pretty cool, but it's a, it's a little bit childish, isn't it? I don't want people to mistake her for being, like, under 18 or something. That'd be just freaky and creepy. So, like, that one's quite cool as well, but at the same time, it's a little bit childlike, isn't it? Um, see, I quite like this one. Yeah, I like that one. I think that's the one we're going to go for. I'm going to go for that one. Can I make the hair look even whiter than that, though? Yeah, we can go for a real nice whitey sheen. And then as a contrasting colour, can I add some red in there? Uh, is that a dark enough red? You can't really see it, that's the thing. But then you can do this root tip blend. Ah, oh, look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And add a little bit more sheen to it. Yeah, I like the fact that the bits that are hanging down have just got a little touch of red on them. I actually start... I'm, I, I like this. This is looking pretty cool. Okay, so the eyes... At the moment, her, her, her eyes look a little bit sad. Eye angle. No, let's, let's bring them up. That's made a world of freaking difference right there! I guess it has. Eye size. Let's make them nice and big as well. Zoom. Okay, I'm liking that. 
Hide that. What did that exactly do? That brought her eyes out of her freaking head, didn't it? I like them like that. Eye width. Let's make... Yeah. Eye height. Let's bring the eyes down a little bit in line with her ears. And I think that works. Heck yeah. She's actually looking quite pretty for a demon girl. Love it. That's what I'm going to be making on my PlayStation 5, people. That's going to be the new Phoenix. That's what I'm going to call her on my PlayStation 5. But there we go. That looks pretty darn cool. So, yes, I want to keep that. Okay. Base head. Yeah, vocation. I think a fighter again. Well, let, let's see what they look like. Oh, look at that. As an archer, she looks great as an archer. She looks pretty cool as a mage. She looks cool no matter what she's doing, this lady. Heck yes, yeah, she's dressed to impress. Oh, thief. Let's have a look at Thief then. Oh, sweet as a freaking... That, that looks bloody lethal, doesn't it? Look at that. Oh, you wouldn't mess with that, would you? Let's just have a look at Fighter again. I'm going to go with Fief because, you know, you can see more of her skin colour. That, that looks... She looks awesome. Oh, that looks cool. Okay. Inclination. I'm going to put her as straightforward. There we go. Voice. Oh, we've got jaunty voices. Test voice. People here are evacuated and safe for the moment. People here are evacuated and safe. People here are evacuated and safe. People here are evacuated and safe. There are more who can yet be saved. There are more who can yet be saved. People here are evacuated and safe. It seems the rain has abated. I think three is probably the best, but I think one suits her more as as, as her character, a more of a deeper sort of guttural voice for a demon gal. Let's see why it doesn't look right, right people. I need to have a H in there. Just there. Theo Nix, that's it. That thing. Balls! Oh! Just knock something over. Yeah, Theo Nix. It still looks wrong to me, but there we are. This is what it is. Machia. Um, you got anything with fire in there? Fire, fire, fire. F I R. There's nothing there. Flint. We we'll go for flint then. There we go. And confirm. There we are. Flint. You can make sparks with a flint stone, can't you? You know what I'm saying? There you go. Okay. All right. Well, we've, we've made two awesome characters there. So I can then make my own Arisen if I want to. But let's, let's just go in and let's just have a look at the two main pawns that I've created. I mean, the main pawn, I mean, the main character, I try to look a little bit like me. You don't need to see me make me in here, do you, really? So, or as close as I can get to me anyway. But then my sidekick, my pawn, I usually like to have a female compondre, mainly because you pick up all different armour types. You pick up male armour, you pick up female armour. So the female armour, I'm going to be sticking on my pawn. So at least the armour is on par with what I'm putting on myself, you know? And I really like my little demon gal that I've created. I think she's freaking awesome. I really do. I'm, I'm, I'm really quite happy with that. No, I just wanted to. I just wanted to have a better look at her. I wanted to make her bigger on screen, but I, I guess that's not a thing. Then you can't zoom in on the screen, no. No, you can't zoom in on the screen, and you can't really overly see her too well in there. But I could probably zoom in on my editor, couldn't I? But there we go. That's going to be my main pawn once I get over onto PlayStation Five. Yeah, and there's my little beastrin chick as well. Eh, quite happy with those. I'm actually liking the character creator a lot more now that I worked out that you can change the skin colour by making dirty great big tattoos and scaling them all over your character. You do end up with some gnarly sort of tan lines though around the base of the legs and things which you can cover with dirt. But you, there's no red dirt so I had to use white. But you know what? Hopefully the armour and clothing is going to cover those patches where I couldn't cover the skin. There you are. But well, there we are. I've made a demon. Lovely jubbly. Anyway, so there we are. Let's, uh, let's uh, get out of this, and I suppose. How do I get out of this? <laughs> Doesn't take me a while to figure that out. All right, I'm just going to right-click on there and close window. Lovely. Well, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that that's turned out, people. So, so let's go jumping over onto here. 
Bulls. Yeah, well, I'm just going to have that as a background then, because I can't get rid of Steam at the moment. Oh, yeah. oh there we go. Done. <laughs> so, people, I'm very excited to pick on up Dragon's Dogma 2. Sadly, I don't think that all that character customization that I've just done on PC is going to carry over to my PlayStation, no matter how much I try. But you know what? Um, yeah, I can do it all again once it comes out on PlayStation 5. At least I know what the character creation can and cannot do. So, I've got all that locked in. Hopefully I'll see you for my Dragon's Dogma content. Dragon's Dogma content will be happening on the 22nd of March onwards. That's when it gets released, unless I can get myself early access, but I don't think I can because I've pre-ordered it. So yeah, that's that's pretty much everything I've got for you right now, people. But yeah, interesting stuffage. Interesting stuffage indeed. Until next time, salute Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.